Hello viewers, welcome back. So today I return with the Wan Shung Ho magnetic motor. This one I have shown I think two times already. And on my left side now you can see the animation. I will show you of course in full screen for you to see more details. So I'm amazed by this magnetic motor because uh, as is described on the web, uh, this uh, Wang Shung Ho designed this motor as to be a 5 kilowatt version. Now you can see on the left side the image which represents him holding a 5 kilowatt version of this magnetic motor. So what was the case there? So Mr. Wang wanted to show this motor on exhibition on two, in 2010 on Chinese some show, but the government, as I I read did not allow it because obvious case yeah who would want to give free energy to everybody so they only then allowed him to make a wristwatch so as you can see on the image wristwatch size uh, device which has no practical purpose in real life but it also worked so that was the case there so why is that so obviously we can sp think about conspiracy theory and things like that and I even not doubt too much that this is the case but let's see now a little bit in detail this motor I'll show it on the screen and try to explain it why is it so interesting okay now you can see this motor so it has as you can see the, the stator which is part over here with stator magnets like, the, like this and it also has a rotor in the, in the middle yeah? with magnets on the rotor and of course strange thing is here the um, overbalance wheel so, so this is the, actually a flywheel so flywheel helps and this magnet over here which I'm not entirely sure why is it there but it's actually there to, to make a uh, disbalanced field you know, or this disbalanced this force that probably this uh, rotor can overcome the opposing magnetic field yeah, so, so this uh, flywheel, which looks really, really cool, with this magnet, is used to overcome, I think, the opposing magnetic field. But this is not the end here in this motor. Actually, the, the true, uh, the true uh, case lies on the bottom of this motor, where we have some kind of uh, uh, cup which, uh, which contains the ferro-liquid. So let's, let's see on the bottom and see what is that. Okay. Now you can see the bottom of the motor, yeah? and this on the bottom you can see there is some kind of additional flywheel, just a steel plate or whatever material that is, and this is a cup, you see this, this golden, this is now a cup in which is filled ferro liquid, and this somehow helps this system not to, um, not to stop there. You, you will read, uh, so I will put in the description below uh, all the documentation and also the original patent, which I'll show you just in a moment, uh, that you can read a bit. It, it's in Chinese, unfortunately, but it will help you to understand a little bit uh, because I have also some small English version which explains just the basics. But this is it. The key of this magnetic motor lies beneath the motor, so this, of course, should be on, in, inside of the bearing, but generally this all spins, this uh, inner side, inner circle with this uh, cup in which, uh, in which is a ferro liquid. So, so what else we can say about this motor? Not much. So it has been shown at the exhibition and that uh, wrist watch, wrist size version works and also uh, this was the 5 kilowatt version as you see, saw on my image before. But generally I actually believe because I think this is the best patent I have seen on, on this. And let me compare it now to some other magnetic motors which might be which you have seen on my channel, but are more much more complex than this one because this one you can replicate really really easily, and uh, there is no no special uh, I know hundreds of magnets like in Muammar Yildiz magnet motor. There is no too complex construction like in Mike Brady permanent magnet machine or other very famous motors. But let's see now, just momentarily, how they look like compared to this one. First of all, I want to say that you can purchase this 3D model from me. It's only $10, so it's not much if you don't want to 
uh, reconstruct the patent yourself. But in the description below, you will get the PDF version of the pa patent in Chinese and of course in English language. So that you can read about it and what those images in the patent actually, what they represent. But let's now see, for example, uh, Muhammad Yildiz magnet motor. So on this left side, you can see now animation of Muhammad Yildiz magnet motor. The, this patent actually has, I think, roughly four, uh, 300 to 400 magnets and very rather complex construction. And I think it's almost impossible to replicate it until you have the exact measures, exact strength of the magnet and uh, maybe even some more because the patent itself is available. I can even share it with you. I can send it to you if you need yield this patent. I think it has some 80 pages. But you can read it and you will see that it's very, very complex. And there is also a version which has, I think, 1,000 magnets or, or something like that. So, so, but it's also, it's very strange because, now this is the Muhammad Yildiz 5 kilowatt magnet motor. And this is the Wang Shun Ho power mechanism, also 5 kilowatt magnets motor. And the construction is incredibly much more simpler in the Wang Ho construction. But also I've forgotten to say that uh, Wang Shun Ho also used the magnetic shielding materials for its construction. I am not sure if it's somewhere on the bottom where this ferro liquid, which is this liquid inside of this metal cup, or somewhere on the more on the top, but he used magnetic shielding material. And I think that magnetic sh shielding material is really necessary for every magnetic motor to work at least for some time because yeah it could stop probably but it will work if it has magnetic shielding so let's see other so you remember also the mike brady my next animation over here you, it's a mike brady permanent magnet machine this one is rather not that complex but the construction is also not simple to to reconstruct because you need to know exact measures and um, and this one, I, I think, uh, was cited in the most other patents. So Mike Brady, if you go through the Google Patents page, you will see that you can search through my channel, through my videos, and on the bottom you always have a patent link. And on the patent link, you are all always referenced to the other patents. This is how I found them, actually. Yeah? So, and I then made my reconstruction from that point. But uh, the Mike Brady is the most cited, cited magnetic motor in all, uh, uh, I think, in all world, uh, as, as far as I have searched. Yeah? And also, you can see on my left side, uh, there is a Supiak, Sivas Hanumgan, permanent magnet motor, which is really, really simple in construction and uses completely magnetic shielding material and should be able to work. You can check the, the, the video in, uh, in, uh, on my channel, you can find it, and you will see how I explained all the details not to go once, once more time. But this one is really, really interesting. There are other, there are so much more of these magnetic motors you can search on my channel. There are some even static, static electricity generators, so which, which I doubt work, but uh, it may, yeah, who knows, it's very, very complex. Yeah? Alberto Molina Martinez, it's one of, of such. And there is also, you can search on my channel, you will see there are many magnetic motors that actually have uh, static, uh, they don't have moving parts. And this is really difficult to, to be <laughs> realistic in the end. But magnetic motors itself, which use permanent magnets and some kind of shielding, maybe even pulls driven like arousal magnetic motor which which uses some pulses to overcome uh, opposing magnetic field with electromagnets so this could also help and this one is these motors have more difficult construction you can see carousel over here it's very very complex construction but uh, yeah this one have potential because uh, you can control magnetic field of, of the of the electromagnets and it can be used to push it forward but whether this energy is more than 
the motor itself creates. Yeah? So to, to this energy which is required to push through the opposing magnetic field, is it higher than the energy this motor actually produces? I really do not know, but it's really interesting. Like, like this carousal electrical generator. There are many, many other. I also uh, very much like Christopher Gitson because it's very, very simple. The animation is show, shown here. You can also search it on my channel. This magnetic shielding is very, very simple, but the problem is that you cannot uh, get very easily this moon metal, for example, magnetic shielding material, because you need custom-made construction. You can buy foil on the eBay and you can try to uh, wrap it out around your magnets to achieve this shielding, but it's not that. You need a thick, full material that can help you uh, shield the complete area or the complete magnet or even to, to be like Supiach motor, to be embedded into this magnetic shielding material so that really the opposite side, the opposite pole does not interact and returns the system in the back because it will be, it will suffocate a little bit this magnetic field of the other side, so N or S, depending on the construction, uh, which can help. Yeah, so this um, Christopher Gitson is also very, very interesting uh, magnetic motor which uses magnetic shielding material. And uh, what can I say in the end? So I started with this Wan Chung Ho. You can see now animation, uh, so I speak in, in behind. The, this motor is really, really simple and uh, it can work. In, I, I think it can work yeah, because uh, it was shown that it works. And why this was banned? Yeah, this is something for discussion. But generally, I think that um, this one has the biggest potential uh, of all magnetic motors I have shown on my channel, besides Mohamed Yildiz, which actually you can search and Google uh, that it works, as is shown here on, on, the, on, this, uh, on this video on my left side. It really works, and then the people have uh, tried to understand how it works, and uh, yeah, it never came to the light that it's in production, it really works because um, uh, who knows how much hours it can work before it falls apart but uh, as was shown in the videos as you can see it really works and uh, this is uh, insane all right so that's all from my, from this video so I have went through the past of my videos you can search all of them uh, I'll put the links in the description below of every video I mentioned in this video and you can also download this uh, Wang Shung Ho patents below on the link uh, which I will upload and yeah so if you, if you like this video if you like my animations uh, you can also donate so I have a donation button from PayPal on my left side of the channel you can check it so you can donate so it will uh, help to create me more content because my time is also not for free so I do this I earn some money on YouTube I cannot lie, but it's really small. You wouldn't even try if I tell you how, how small amount that is. But uh, I'm satisfied because this helps pay the bills. So thank you for watching. So until next video, stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.